If you are looking to understand how user access is managed in Snowflake, you have come to the right place. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp of how Snowflake handles users, roles, and permissions, all while ensuring secure and efficient access control. Let's dive in. Snowflake follows RBAC, that is role-based access control. But how does this RBAC differ from traditional user access control? Let's compare. In traditional access control, permissions are granted directly to users. This method does not scale because as the number of users grows, managing permissions becomes chaotic. Let's take an example of managing file cabinets. Imagine a company where employees need access to different file cabinets. Alice, a financial analyst, needs read access to finance cabinet. Bob, a sales rep, needs read and write access to sales cabinet. Charlie, their manager, needs read access to both the cabinets. So each time a new employee joins or changes roles, the admin must manually update their access. If a new financial analyst joins, you would need to grant all these permissions. Too many grants per user. This is inefficient and error prone. Then how RBAC works in Snowflake? Users are assigned roles. Roles are assigned privileges. Privileges control access to Snowflake objects like databases, tables, views, etc. So the key components of Snowflake RBAC are users, people who need access to Snowflake, roles, groups of permissions assigned to users, privileges, actions that roles can perform, example, select, insert, usage, etc., and objects, which are nothing but Snowflake resources like databases, schemas, tables, etc. To put it in an analogy, employees are like users who are given job titles, like roles. Job titles come with specific responsibilities, which are nothing but permissions or privileges. You don't assign tasks to employees directly, but you assign them based on their role. How RBAC is more efficient over traditional access? Instead of assigning multiple permissions manually every time, you assign a role that already has the right permissions. All permissions are inherited automatically. Here are the step-by-step -step SQL commands to implement RBAC in Snowflake. And the best practice as you implement RBAC is following role hierarchy, which is simple yet scalable. What exactly it is? Without role hierarchy, you must assign access separately for every role. This means redundant assignments and higher maintenance effort every time access changes. Let's say you have two roles, analyst and developer. Analyst needs read access, developer needs read and write access. Instead of granting read twice to both the roles, you can create a hierarchy. Now the developer role automatically inherits all privileges of the analyst role. This helps us with less redundancy, easier to manage, and scales well as your team grows. All in all, the advantages of RBAC in Snowflake are scalability, security, auditability, and flexibility. Now you know what RBAC is and how it differs from traditional access control how Snowflake manages users, roles, and privileges, why role hierarchy simplifies access management, and the best practices for implementing RBAC efficiently. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe for more Snowflake content.